opponents of Los Angeles Rams and Los Angeles Chargers. Two teams that in the past two years have struggled to attract the loyalty and season ticket orders of a notoriously fickle fan base. In the next decade, Los Angeles has moved on from both of them. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones brokered a plan for the Rams to move out of St. Louis and into Rams owner Stan Kroenke's momentous vision for his mostly self running new stadium. A venue, Jones said, that has a wow factor. A year later, owner Dean Spanos moved his Chargers to LA, keeping the city in a range marriage of teams. Despite on field success from both clubs, it's been a struggle with infighting between executives and a difference from fans. In addition to the drama going on behind the scenes, one big question remains. What if fans would rather watch things on TV than visit a world-class stadium? The stakes are high. For all their differences, Jerry Jones, Stan Kroenke, and Dean Spanos have one thing in common. All three are betting that the stadium will inspire 70,000 people to show up every Sunday. But so far, Fans have greeted both teams with ambivalence and a lot of empty seats. And for more sex with your family, this is what he There is much more detail in the story you co wrote with Don Van Natta, which is available now online. Uh, uh, where do the issues start? The tension between these two franchises now sharing this space? Yeah, I think anytime you have an arranged marriage in a new market, it is not going to be doing well. And right now, they are just holding their breath and hoping that this new stadium turns the entire narrative around with the NFL's return to L.A. You know, a lot of it goes back to that when you were playing that. It was a toxic and bloody process. Chargers are only going. Yeah, Dean Spanos got very burned and stabbed in the back. But a year later, 